Good evening. We are here to solve quadratic equations. In this video, our focus is on how to solve quadratic equations by factory. I have here example letter A, which is x squared minus 10x plus 21 is equal to 0. The first step in solving this by factory is check whether this equation is in standard form. The standard form of a quadratic equation is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. I think this one is already in standard form. Next step is you need to prepare two parentheses for the factors of this equation. Then after that, since this one is x squared, I'm sure that the first term of the two factors are the same as x. So x times x will give you x squared. Now to figure out the next numbers here, or the terms here is we need to consider positive 21. We need to think of two numbers. When we multiply them, the answer is positive 21. But when we add them, the answer is negative 10. So I think the two numbers are 7 times 3. Let's try. 7 times 3 will give you 21. But when we add them, 7 plus 3 is equal to 10. Since our target is to get the sum of negative 10, I think this must be negative 3. So this one is x minus 7, x minus 3 is equal to 0. Now applying zero, proper, 0 product property, which is a times b is equal to 0. One thing I'm sure for this one is when we multiply these numbers, it's either one of them is 0, or both of them is equal to 0. So let's apply zero product property here. So this one can be solved as x minus 7 is equal to 0 or x minus 3 is equal to 0. So let's solve for the first value of x. The first value of x can be solved like this one. x minus 7 plus 7 is equal to 7. This one is equal to 0. So this is x is equal to 7. On the other side, x minus 3 plus 3 is equal to 3. Negative 3 plus 3 is equal to 0. This is x is equal to 3. Now the two possible values of x are 7 or 3. After example letter A, let us solve x squared plus 8x is equal to negative 15 by factoring. The first thing is you need to rewrite this equation in standard form. So to rewrite this equation in standard form, we need to add 15 to both sides of the equation. So this one will be equal to x squared plus 8x plus 15 is equal to negative 15 plus 15 is equal to 0. Since the right side of the equation is equal to 0, we are now ready to do factoring. Same process is you need to prepare two sets of parentheses. And since your first term is x squared, the first terms of the factors are the same as x because x times x will give you x squared. Now the number here is or the constant here is 15. We need to think of two numbers that when we multiply the product is 15 but when we add them the sum is 8. The numbers are 5 times 3. 5 times 3 will give you 15 and the sum of 5 and 3 is equal to 8. So this is x plus 5, then x plus 3. Now applying 
zero product property. Again, in zero product property, the value of A or B, when you multiply them, the answer is zero. So, let's equate these two factors by zero. X plus 5 is equal to zero. Or, X plus 3 is equal to zero. To solve this equation, or to solve for x, this is x plus 5 minus 5 is equal to negative 5. This will give you 0, and the answer here is x is equal to negative 5. This is the first value of x. On the other side, this is x plus 3 is equal to 0. To solve this equation, you need to subtract both sides of the equation by negative 3, or by 3. So x plus 3 minus 3 is equal to negative 3. 3 minus 3 is equal to 0, and this is x is equal to negative 3. These are the two possible values of x. I hope you understand that how to solve quadratic equations by factoring.